All right, uh, this is my first fly tying video. Uh, so just bear with me. Um, tying on a Mustad 739671, 2 extra heavy, 3XL. Let's see if I can get that into focus, there we go. Size six, um, tying a big foam hopper. Uh, ch -ch -ch -ch. So yeah, let's get to it. This is one of my favorite hopper patterns that I tie all the time. So I start at the back of the hook, tie my thread in. And I take about three or four peacock curl. It's just a little trick that I've learned on how to keep uh, foam bodies from spinning <clears throat> tie it in from the tips cut the tips and then wrap forward I like a peacock under body because it kind of gives it iridescence you're gonna go uh, touching wraps you don't need to build it up, just wind it straight to the back, or right to the eye of the hook. These are for those big hoppers that you see in uh, usually August, beginning of September. Tie it off, snip your excess, and then wrap back to the bend of the hook. So there's two things that I just did there. You got your body, and then you're ribbing all at once. Take a piece of two millimeter foam, and what I do is I lay it underneath, because you want it about the width, hook gap width, Push it in so it leaves a bit of a hole, and then that'll give me my line to cut. And then just try to keep a straight line. You cut down to the end, and then snip the corners off one end. And then you got a fairly good point, and then I just snip the tip off. Now, before we tie that in, we'll throw on a little bit of super glue on the top of the hurl. This is a little trick that I was telling you about keeping the foam from spinning. And lay it on top. I like having about a quarter of an inch or so sticking off the bend of the hook. Come up a couple loose wraps and each one gets a little bit tighter. And then come over the top and make, and make uh, three segments. And then we're gonna go one more right, pretty much right up to the eye. So as you can see, this is gonna be our head, and then body, and then tail. And then I like jump, whoop, haha, <laughs> just broke my thread. That doesn't happen too, too often. Give me half a second here, I'll re-thread. There we go. Now 
jump over here just to make sure that's all bound down. There we go. There. Now, what I do is I take some crystal flash. Actually, hold on, before we get that far, let's uh, take some bleached elker. Pull off a little bit here. Get rid of your short fibers. I still like running a comb through it. Get all that under fur out. And we're going to throw it in a stacker. Give it a few taps. Pull it out. Check for any broken tips. And I like laying it on top so it comes just shy of the tail. I see I got one that got away from me there. there we go. Just shy of the tail. Transfer hands, snip. Lay it right on top of that second section. Tie it in right on top. I like going through the hair a little bit as well, just to bind everything down. And a little bit of super glue again. Now we take a crystal flash. You don't need very much. I usually only pull a few strands, three or four strands. And tie it right on top. Right away, I snip them just a hair longer than the elk hair. Now I take my legs. So what this is, it's three strands of brown, round brown rubber legs. Sorry, this is four. And I like this size for size six. Size eight, I usually do eight and tens. It's two strands. So all I did was I took round rubber, put a knot in it, and then took some barred green I believe it's chartreuse uh, grizzly bird medium chartreuse neon green put that up where your tag end comes down so then you keep the angle and you can still and then uh, tightened up the knot and then put on a little bit of uh, super glue under the knot and I like these coming back to about the end of the body just shy of the end of the body and 
I'll show you another little trick if your legs are sticking out too far. I'll try to get them as even as possible. Tie them down. I like my legs up on an angle. Like so. And what I do is I take my bobkin, which has disappeared on me, so I'll use this just to split the legs. I'm sorry, these ones had four in it. I miscounted. So I'll take two off. And I'll snip. Throw on a little bit more super glue right on top of the foam here because that's going to hold our head down. Pull this back over. still kind of adjust these legs so they're sitting the way they want you want them to and I leave these a little long until I get them tied in and then I go about a quarter of the way down the wing and I snip off the foam and I like taking off the hard edges like so now that we're done with that, we can come back here and trim off the excess on the legs so they're about approximately the same size. And we can take the front ones, trim them down so they're the same length. Take a piece of orange foam. This will be for our indicator. It's a little too thick up there. Tie that right in on top. And I like to pinch them. Give them a quick little snip. And then at the back, a little bit of super glue underneath. For a sec, there we go. And then the front, I usually snip off a little bit more. Now you can take your whip finisher, give it a quick whip finish. Stick 
sticking, so I'll give it one more just for good measure. Access. Readjust stuff if you have to. Now my legs are sitting about the way I like them. But what you can do is you can take a little bit of super glue, put it on your bodkin, lift up your legs, right in that, right where the legs are at the body. You can just put a little bit on there and just press and hold to where you want your legs to sit and that is it trim out any uh, wild hairs that you got there you go thanks for watching bye